Hi, boys and girls. Let's look at some words today. These words have the O sound in them. Come see what I have on the table. Boys and girls, today we are going to look at words that have the O sound in them, spelled two different ways, spelled with an O and a consonant in the middle and a silent E at the end. And then there's also this way with the letters O and the A, but the A doesn't say any sound. It just tells the O to say its name. But before we do that, I want to show you a few words that also have the O sound, but don't have this spelling and don't have this spelling. They're just, there are other ones. Look at this one. You guys know this word, go. Notice that it just has an O by itself after the G. There's no silent E, there's no A, but it also makes that O sound. This is the word snow. I love the snow. You'll see in many words the letters O-W making the O sound, but we're not going to look at those today. And then this long word is dough, like we make cookie dough to make cookies. And the O sound has all these letters, O-U-G-H. And that's another way to make the O sound. But again, we're not going to look at those words today. Let's take a look at these words I have. Help me read these. J-O-K, joke. Like my friend Tancredi loves to tell me jokes. There's that O and that silent E. Help me read. K O CH coach. A coach is someone who teaches you a sport. V oat vote. Like sometimes in class we raise our hands to vote for inside or outside recess. Notice the silent E at the end. Okay, keep helping me. Let's read. St own stone. A stone is another word for a rock. There's that silent E at the end. Help me read. B boat. Boat. We go in a boat on the water. And there's that O A making the O sound. Help me read. Toast. Toast. Toast is something we might eat for breakfast. It's bread that has been toasted. There's the O sound. Help me read. R -ose. Rose. That's a flower. And there's that silent E at the end, so it belongs in that group. Okay, keep helping me. B own bone. We know that dogs like to chew on bones. Let's keep going. Help me. H hope. Hope. I hope it will snow today. Okay, help me. Fl oat. Float. When you float, you go on the water and you stay on top of the water. Help me. H home. Home. Your home might be a house, might be an apartment. And there's that silent E on the end. Let's keep going. Thr. O. T. Throat. Sometimes we get a sore throat when we are getting sick. There's that OA in the middle. Help me read. S -o -p. Soap. We use soap to wash our hands. Just a few more. Help me. T -ode. Toad. Well, we love the stories of frog and toad. Two more. Help me. Cro-o-k. Croak. 
Well, that goes with toad because this is the sound that a toad or a frog makes. It says croak. And last one here, h-o's, hose. That's what we use to water the garden, a hose. Now, boys and girls, let's take a look at the pictures that I have here, and let's find the word that matches. This is a little boy, and he's got a sore throat. You can see that it hurts him up. Oh, there's the word throat. So those two are a match. Ah, look at this frog. He's got a big bubble here because he's making his sound. He's saying croak. Goes with that word, croak. Look at all these hands up. They are taking a vote to see what decision they should make. There's vote. Let's match those two. Oh, this is a little hard to see, but this is a bar of soap with all the bubbles. Here's our word soap, and here's our picture. This is a bone that a dog would love to chew. Bone. And this flower is a rose. They have a wonderful smell. Rose. Oh, look at these kids, they're laughing because one of them told a joke. Let's find the word joke. I found it. And this little girl is watering a seedling. She hopes it will grow. So we're looking for the word hope. I hope my seed will grow. Here is a boat. This kind of boat is called a rowboat. Maybe you've been in one before. Boat. Oh, this is a toad. Toads are usually brown, whereas frogs are green. So here's our word toad and our picture. Well, this is a rock. And another word for a rock is a stone. So those two are a match. If you have a house, you might have this on the outside of your house. It's called a hose. And it fills up with water. And you can wash the car. You can water the plants with the hose. Look at this dog. He is on a raft in the water. He is floating. So I'm going to match this picture with this word, float. That looks like fun. Here is a house. Your home might look like this, or you, your home might be an apartment. Those two are a match. Ah, this woman has a timer in her hand. I bet she's timing a race. She is a coach. Maybe she's coaching kids who are running or playing basketball. And our very last one, toast. Here is some toast to eat for breakfast. Okay, boys and girls, I'm glad you could join me. I hope you had fun, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.